You came on at a great time. Did you hear the next matchup? Yeah. Hello, yo, Benny. Yo, that's the border of the state. Philly, New Jersey, border. I right, look, look at this, look at this. They're playing at the same setup. I mean, no, I, I guess because just like n n normal. One player we, we, we only have a setup like that for triples. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I hello. mean, it's perfectly fine for them to do that. That's just crazy. Hello, hello. Uh, can you hear me fine? Yeah, okay. All right, let's go. So, right. I, I mean, if you guys don't know, I'm not even going to tell you. I can introduce myself? This man, uh, I'm going to introduce everybody. Right. This man is the man that does the stats for every Smash tournament you may ever see. If you do not follow him on Twitter, at DomSSB, then what are you waiting for? Find out the top eights. Find out what characters are doing the best in most tournaments, major tournaments, national tournaments, international tournaments. This is the man, the calculator of the Smash 4 scene. Mr. Dom, say hello to the people. Yeah, I'm going for the title of Smash 4 Tafikins. Let's look out. Uh, right? Who? Smash 4 Tafikins. Uh, guy oh, that gets all the melee stats? Yeah, I'm okay. trying to be him, but for Smash 4. I can respect that. Def definitely a good, good, good title uh, to go for, yeah. right? Somebody respectable to follow as well. Yeah. Well, let's get into the game one right here. We got Biddy versus Exax. Town City Town City is going to be the first stage of the set. Bonk? Bonk? I don't know. That's, I think that's some SoCal slang. I have to ask him. Uh, I, I've definitely never heard of that now. SoCal slang. All right, right now, the game's starting off pretty... Uh, Pretty expected pace for the matchup. Uh, Biddy's just trying to get around those projectiles, convert off of them, and Fox is doing what he does when he gets in. All right, I like the up tilt, and then he just waited to see if uh, Exile was possibly air dodge or throw out an option. You know, if he did, he would be ready for it. Oh, f fast fall fair. What? No. Yo, we're freestyling now. Fast fall fair from Fox, looking for something else. And catches the landing with an up smash. And I think that's going to be a big part of the matchup because just Fox smash. eats up bad landings, and Toon Link really has a hard time landing. Like, the only thing he can really do is, like, Throw a bomb down. Yeah, Two Link is not a fast fall at all. Yeah, Fox is, and that's the best part, is that he can just keep keep Two Link under him as much as he wants. Right, see right there, he got Biddy in a situation where he had to throw the move to land or land at all. He threw it in there, Exact blocked it, and then he up tilted him. This matchup, Biddy's not looking like himself. Yeah, man. But I feel like this man was looking for Winnie Pooh in the woods and just got lost. <laughs> can you blame him though? He, he's he's like, a, he, he's around the twenty third acre and he's like, <laughs> I don't know where to go left or right or back. I'm done. I'm stuck. Uh, yeah, but getting back to it. Oh, speaking of catching landings. Oh, wait, we go straight. We go north. All right, we right, good. Right, he got it. <laughs> he I mean, knows his way to he go. Read, he read the signs. But, yeah, right there. Uh, wow. Up tilts, up tilts, up tilts. And an up smash. 37% for Betty. Is that what he needs to get back into the game? Let's see. Up tilt up here. Nice conversion by Exax. Um, the reason why Exax is on both cameras is because Betty chose to sat on the other side of the table. And there's no camera set up over there because it's only supposed to be using triples. Ooh. So, uh, double jumps situation. over him to the other side and backers. And Biddy is off stage, bomb in hand. Gotta get back. And he gets back. That man went for that really raw back here. He said, that wasn't even raw though, that was mechanized. He, I forgot, he ain't got no, he ain't got no legs. He got prosthetics. All right, I like, I like the idea there. The hitbox, this throw, about to end it. throwing out the hitbox is a little too obvious, so we just came down with like, uh, a grab. But the hitbox was the obvious there too, but so was the air dodge. So, that situation uh, for um, like I, once I saw that fourth throw, I'm just like, I'm sure Exact has something to do. He's either gonna wait for it to come fully back on the stage or catch him before he does. But right. I just knew the end was nigh. Man, Exact once again said, "Yo, get back to that 47th acre and try to find a way out." Drop them in the middle of a hedge maze. Yeah, man. Yeah, everyone's asking for uh. The, the player cam. Yeah, Biddy is actually all just on the other side of the table. Yeah. Like we have a two TV set up here. He's just sitting on the other side. Yeah, like I said, guys, we're going to be doing triples. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm on a team with uh, AEX and Matt. We're doing Mario Mario Yoshi. Oh, no. And guess who the support is? Oh, no. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, we do have two player cams. That's dope. Why doesn't everyone sit over there now? Well, it's only for triples. Remember, this is a normal setup. Yeah, but I would do that. If I'm playing singles and I'm on stream, I'm sitting on the other side. I can do I can you respect know, that. Genesis 3 style. I can respect that. All right, FD for the, uh, the next game. This is uh, Biddy's counter pick. Yeah, Biddy's counter pick. I got to stage, right. And um, he said, listen, you can go wherever you want. You can take me to the sun. I'm still going to body you. I guess the logic behind the counter pick, nice back here. SSB commentator, but I guess the logic behind this counter pick is when Biddy starts throwing projectiles, Exact isn't going to have anywhere to run. All right, nice up tilt in there. That's his commentator. All right. Th yo, this man was the classic Ooh, too. I know, I know he tried to go for something a little, uh, a little spicy right there with the wall jump. Yeah, I feel like I was watching cartoons from the 1990s. Oh. That, that combo was just classic, but uh, 
That, that was from a nice Michael Bay movie. That was match was just explosive. Yeah, just definitely. Just up. explosions. Jab! Oh, oh never speaking mind. of explosions, never mind. <laughs> the bomb comes through for Biddy. Get him out of that situation. Back here, got, got um, Exact sitting off stage. Had him sitting off stage. <laughs> that was the silliest exchange. He said, like, let me just, let me just uh, protect myself. Again, I still feel like B um, Biddy is just slightly bewildered by this box. I mean, it, it, one, it's player gap because, you know, you know, there's the skill gap between the two players. Without a doubt, experience is definitely in that side. it might be the matchup, too, because like I was saying earlier, every time Biddy gets up in the air, he, it just seems like he's eating 20, 30 percent trying to get back down. Yeah, Biddy hasn't changed his play style of his matchup either. He still relies most on those bombs, but don't be wrong, the bombs lead to everything. Yeah, That's too many needs the bombs. Don't, don't get it twisted. Like, it, it, he will never abandon those completely. But at the same right. time, I feel like you might, like, unless you have him off stage, you might want to rely so more so on close range Ooh. tactics like Fox is doing, right. trying to beat him at his own game. Do you ever think, really think Toon Link can do something like that? Like, like if Fox is just tilting your shield and dash tacking your landing, can you really just like play his game? It might be had to be a more defensive option, but I, I think it's possible, especially if you just mix in the bombs every once in a while because he pulls them out fairly quickly. Right. Oh, this is going to be it. Something's going to happen. Just catch the oh, get up. oh act actually doesn't get the get up that time. He's been doing a really good job of doing it this set. All right, Betty at dangerous percent. Got to be careful how he gets back on, and he does. See, you say dangerous percent. It got, it's also gonna be saving percent. That one that the, rage, yeah, yeah, that rage. That, oh, that, a forward smash. That was, that was a light hit. A forward smash from anywhere on the stage will actually kill now, but uh, that up is smash. A shame. Yeah. The, the up smash. If he wouldn't get a raw hit on the last time, that possibly would have taken that box. Right. But it was a soft hit. He got him like on the tip of the blade swing, and it just didn't knock him as far back as he needed him to. So it's funny how damage in one person's eyes can be seen, like I said, as a saving grace in right. the other person's eyes. The rage effect. That's, that's yeah. the beauty of it. You can be up. You can be, be at 171 percent. Your opponent is like, at 60. But you don't one, have to look at it. Hit me one more time. Exactly. You don't, Give me you, that one more percent. Watch you don't me. have to look at it as a bad situation. You can just look at it as, I have a strong move. If I hit it, the game's over. doesn't matter what percent you're at, what stage you're on, or where in the stage you're at. But, uh, That's a shame, though. Like